you spoke about the fact that you and your wife, y'all been at it for a very long time. She introduced you to Christianity. Um, you also spoke of, in other words, leading by example. You're a person, you got a, a pretty cool job. You spend a lot of time on the road. You're around uh, very successful athletes. Uh, th this is just, you know, your, 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 your immediate circle. My question for you is, how did you manage to stay so disciplined when out on the road, uh, you're a Kappa, you know, I think you went the wrong way, but, but you, 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 well, let me guess, you a Q? No, uh, a Sigma. Okay. <laughs> you definitely went left, but I'll, I'll forgive you for that. But you know, and just in line with what you do for a living, um, and bringing it back to the church, I find, and it's just me, it, within the church, people don't lead by example. And I think a lot of reason why men don't go or men don't participate as, as much as they should is because so many people who claim to be living the life and, and claim to be so holy, then it's not the greatest role models. And as I'm listening to you and you're talking about how you raised your daughters and you know how long you and your wife been going at it and, and, and you doing what you're doing professionally, but understanding that there's something greater um, that you serve. How, how have you managed to just stay so disciplined with Christ when we see preachers all day, every day? Uh, doing unconscionable things right. and letting their, their congregations down. One, one preacher, a friend of mine, he's got a huge congregation. He said, uh, he, he said it this way. He said, I love God more than I love my flesh. You know, so you're tempted. I'm tempted. Like, I mean, come on, as you said, I'm out on the road. You're seeing beautiful women. I'm around the NBA. So you're definitely seeing the, the cream of the crop. But uh, for me, the, my testimony in terms of when I came to Christ, I had a lot going for me. I was raised middle class. I, you know, when I came, gave my life to Christ, I had, I was in college. I was captain of the basketball team. I had good grades and a newspaper in Ohio, the biggest newspaper in Ohio at the time had promised me they were going to hire me after I graduated a year in a year. And so I had like everything going, you know, I had the quote unquote American dream and yet I still was empty inside. I still felt a void. And, 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 and when you have a, a lot of the things the world can offer and you're still not happy or content, that can be, that can lead you to be miserable. Cause you under, what is it? What don't I have? You know what I mean? Like, why am I not happy and have, why don't I have peace? And so that's what, drove me to Christ, you know, and, and I what gave drove my life you there and what keeps you there are two very different things. And, and I guess and, I'm just trying knowing, to get to the heart. Knowing that I had a lot, I had like, I had some money, I had some success, I had some women, all that, but without Christ, I wasn't content and I didn't have peace of mind. So I know while I could go grab at these things, now I'm at a higher level, so to speak, and I could grab at these things, but if I grab at things that are going to take me away from Christ, I know from my testimony, I'm not going to have peace. I'm not going to be able to fully, you know, you might enjoy it for a moment, but eventually, ultimately, it's not going to make you happy. It's not going to, you know, bring, you're going to lose your joy. You're going to lose your peace of mind and and things like that. So knowing that the we we all do things largely because we think it's going to make us happy. We think it's going to make us content. We think it's going to fulfill us. And I know the only thing that truly will bring fulfillment for me is my relationship with God. So I that helps keep me from grasping at these other things. Now, I, I, I'm not going to claim I've been perfect and all that. 
but that can help keep you focused on the right path and generally in a lifestyle that's in line with your proclamations. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.